For a variety of reasons, the COVID pandemic being but one of them, the Italian presidency for the IF20 is emphasizing healing. This sets a tone for dialogue that may be more suitable to initiatives and recommendations than any kind of demands. If you were given an opportunity to engage in dialogue with the G20 leaders about climate change, what approach would you take and why? Initiatives, recommendations, demands? Now the, now the number of COVID-19 infected people reach over the 100 million and the United States becomes the most victim country which, drew, which lost 420 lives. This number is more than the American victims of World War II and had, and had a big impact on the presidential election in the last year. However, the, con <clears throat> the country who was the most shocked by COVID-19 pandemic in Europe must be, in, must be Italy, where we will have hold the G20 Interface Forum this fall when we still have to idea what the COVID-19 clearly in last March. This new infection disease expanded in Italy at a much faster pace than the other European countries. Italians have endured not only the physical, about physical but also mentally due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I think that why Italy, the host of the G20 Interface Forum this fall, has been emphasized the concept of healing. The most important element of hearing is not justice. It doesn't lead to hearing even if they defeat someone in the in a debate using the long time long time horn rhetoric since ancient Greek. Because hearing hearing becomes a functional when we give thought and feel the symbolic uh, feel sympathy for others. So our approach at the G20 Interface Forum 20. 21 must be a dialogue approach, di dialogical approach based on the scheme and or the recommendation rather than the brandishing the sword of justice.